Do you need a new small portable outboard for your little boat or skiff? Hi, I'm Lenny Rudo from Boat US Magazine, and today we're going to look at five tips that will help you make sure that you pick out the right engine for your boat. Tip number one, don't forget that bigger isn't always better. Maybe this tiny 2.5 isn't enough for you, but smaller outboards are lighter and easier to carry or transport. They burn less fuel, they cost less, and often their simpler nature means that they're easier and less expensive to maintain. Besides, we really don't need to go running around at 50 miles an hour on very small boats. For most folks, as long as the engine is powerful enough to get on plane, your needs will be well served. Tip number two, consider whether you really want to have remote controls in a steering wheel or if a tiller steering arrangement might do the trick for you. You know, these days, you can get a steering wheel and remote controls for very small portable outboards, all the way down to 10 or so horsepower in some cases. But that increases cost, and it also increases rigging complexity quite a bit. A tiller steering rig is very low maintenance, and it's true, it does take a little bit of getting used to when you first start running a boat with a tiller steer, but once you become accustomed to it, it really gives you fantastic handling and control over the boat. Tip three, consider carbureted versus electronic fuel injection fuel delivery systems. You can get EFI all the way down to around 10 horsepower these days, and not only are EFI outboards more fuel efficient and easier to start, the elimination of the carburetor greatly reduces ethanol problems. When it comes to outboards that may sit for weeks between uses, this is a big deal. Our fourth tip, consider electric tilt and start versus manual. Electric certainly wins for convenience, but it's more expensive. It means you need to carry a 12 volt battery around and it makes the rigging more complex. And we are talking about one of the newer portable motors with batteryless EFI. It's nothing like the old days where you practically had to throw out your shoulder to get them going. Manually starting these engines is much, much easier. Okay, people, we've reached tip number five. Make absolutely positively sure you get the right shaft length motor. That means measuring. Do not, do not, do not go by short shaft, long shaft, extra long shaft. Those terms mean different things to different manufacturers and to different people. So pull out the tape, measure that transom, and find out exactly what shaft length you need before you get that motor. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave your comments and questions below. We will take the time to answer them. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button, and in the future, you won't miss any more of our Boat US Magazine videos.